I'm Nick from uh, Go By Archery um, and this is take one with our new GoPro camera. Um, I'd like to show you uh, how we make our products um, using hand skills and quite old fashioned machinery and um, today we're just going to ha be having a look at uh, how I make our pin knocks uh, that fit the uh, Eastern Unibush system. Uh, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, as I said, please excuse the uh, the video clip because this is my first attempt at these um, and any comments are more than welcome. Right. This is our uh, Capstan Lave. Um, it's built in the early 1960s and it's quite a nice old machine these are our pin knocks and uh, we make these first of all into this German hand grenade type shape and uh, this is a simple process of uh, turning back a shanked shoulder against a stop uh, so it's a nice light sliding fit into into the eastern knock and then we drill the end of the pin knock to a set depth against the stops on the machine and then this fits into a collet and everything is turned true to that diameter. The big problem with pin knocks is holding the small pin diameter um, it has a tolerance of about five, five to six tenths of a thousandth of an inch uh, if they're uh, undersized, the pin knock doesn't grip right, and we found that uh, if they go over uh, 128 thousandths, uh, the pin knock has a tendency to crack. So our ideal is around 127.5 thousandths of an inch. Right, so pop that one in the collet. The machine's a, a little bit of a noisy old girl. I'm going to put a, another torch up here just to give us a little bit more light and put on safety specs. And here we go. All out of the way. Now this tool is called a roller box and very good at holding tolerances and it's designed for mass production or old style mass production facilities when you're making more than one. Now we're just cutting the taper to the back and again this just comes up against the stop so everyone's the same. Uh, the hand grenades always have a little bit of a tip on the end for where they've been parted off before. So we file that back to the shank and then very gently put a radius on the end. And then there's always a bit of a sharp edge at the back there so we take that off. At this point, we have to measure the knot. And she's reading 130,000 just under. So, first thing I'm going to do is just run the roller box through and do a skip cut. Going to stop. And we're one hundred and twenty nine foul. Now we have to polish it out size.
every knock is finished in this way, every pin knock is actually finished in this way, because it's the only way I can guarantee perfect knock, uh, perfect knock fit. And we have about half a thousandth of an inch to take off. Just a little bit more. I'm looking for 127.5 and if you can see this, that is 127.5, absolutely spot on. So that knot fit will be lovely. That, just going to put that back in, a little bit sharp on that back edge. And this is the sort of care that everything that comes out of this workshop gets. And the art trip that buys from us, it is a handmade, hand finished article. Here's my X7, well this is an XX75 arrow, Eastern Platinum arrow. And that is how the knot now fits into there, and ready to be hot melted in. Okay, here we go. One Goat Boy pin knock adapter for Eastern X7, Eastern XX75, Fat Boys, and any other Eastern shaft that uses their Unibush system. They work very well. Um, I have archers shooting these who regularly shoot 580s, 590s plus in Feta and Portsmouth rounds. Thank you for looking.